Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and today I have a follow-up video to a video I did a couple weeks back about Pokemon Home. At the time, we were still waiting for news about when it would come and recently we got some more clarification and updates. And then we got a second update to that update. That was very strange. Let's talk about it. Hello, hi, this is uh, Editor Linky here. I just wanted to make a little note before the rest of this discussion continues. During the editing process of this video, the Pokemon Company put out an update saying that maintenance would be done on Pokemon Home on May 30th. So not the original date put out by this tweet that I go over in this video. My criticisms of the entire rollout are still the same, although the points in this video where I mention that we do not know the date as of now, that appears to have changed. So as of right now, as the editing process, I just want to make everyone aware that I am aware that maintenance is being done on May 30th, but I still believe all of the points in this video still stand. So back to the rest of the video. So on May 18th, the Pokemon Company formally announced some more details about what would be coming in the upcoming Pokemon Home update. In this original post, they said that the update was going to come on May 24th. So they are hitting their deadline of releasing the update in spring of this year, although they are not hitting their original planned update time of early 2023. I don't know anyone who at this point in May, the fifth month of the year, almost halfway through the year would call this early, but they are still hitting their spring timeline. This update is going to add Pokemon Scarlet and Violet compatibility to the service. You're going to receive special mystery gifts of Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley with their hidden abilities. That's all well and good, that's awesome. You're also going to be able to bring Pokemon that existed in previous Switch titles, their Pokedexes, from newer games backwards. So if you have a Pikachu in Scarlet and Violet, you can bring it into Pokemon Home and then from there you can put it in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Some things might get changed with its moveset, there might be some changes with its stats, but the Pokemon and that idea of the Pokemon that makes it what it is, you will be able to bring into older Switch games. Off the bat, all of this is awesome. This is a refined experience on Pokemon Home. I like that they're giving away the starters with their hidden abilities. It is always good to make more rare Pokemon available in some way to the player. I like that. I like free rewards. All of this is good. Giving us a timeline for the update is good. This is direct communication from the Pokemon company. This is specifically what I called for in my previous Pokemon home video and what I have been calling for from the Pokemon company in every home video that I've done over the last handful of years where I've criticized them for how they've kept a lot of this behind the scenes. That was great. I was very excited. I was happy that we were getting it. It was cool that we are getting a new addition to the service that we didn't already have. It adds value to the service. That is a good thing. I like that. Hopefully in the future when we get virtual console games coming to NSO, which is probably coming one day, I've done a video on that too, hopefully those will also be compatible with Pokemon Home and we will have a vast array of Pokemon generations available to us on this service. All of that is excellent. Then a follow-up tweet came the next day on May 19th. We put the cart before the Mudsdale. Earlier, we mistakenly posted that the Pokemon Home version 3 update would launch on May 23rd, 24th. However, the actual release date is yet to be announced. 3.0 is coming soon though, so please continue to follow our pages for more information. How did you go? Pokemon Home has existed since uh, Sword and Shield. Since Sword and Shield, we have had a year of DLC. We have had a year of BDSP remakes. We have had a year of Legends Arceus. We have had compatibility added with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We have had Legends Arceus. We've had Scarlet and Violet. This service has been out for years. Pokemon, the Pokemon company is just like Nintendo, very particular in how they market their content. Nintendo is, is very well known, for example, for making their employees use the full official name of their games in any sort of material. If you're talking about Breath of the Wild, it has to be The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. 
It can't be Zelda. It can't be The Legend of Zelda. It can't be Breath of the Wild. It has to be The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild for Nintendo Switch and for Nintendo Switch OLED. You use the full names. This is not specifically relevant, but it's it's to make the point that they're very thorough and specific and very hyper-focused on how they word and market things. So much so that even in their follow-up tweet that is absurd, they make a relevant connection to a Pokemon and joke. We put the cart before the Mudsdale. They're very specific. To go in another day, somehow having such miscommunication that you don't realize that you're giving an, uh, an incorrect date on when you're pushing a service update is a little weird. It's, 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 it's awkward. I don't fully understand it, and it's just strange. Now, before going further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course. Subscribing is free, and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the Join tab. See if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Also, I am dealing with a bit of a cold right now, or I might have gone to a baseball game and screamed my voice out. One of these things is true, determined for yourself. Uh, so I apologize if my voice does sound a little hoarse today, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. We have had Scarlet and Violet out, not to beat a dead horse, not to beat a dead Mudsdale. <laughs> We've had Scarlet and Violet since November of last year. As I said in the open, it is now May. We are a month away. We're a week or so away from June, halfway through 2023. We're not getting any, uh, any younger here. And they are not able to accurately tell us when a date is coming for an update. Now, it very well could be that it's coming on May 25th. I mean, this is incredibly vague. But why give a date? Right? I understand, and in every single one of my home videos, I have made the point that I understand that this is a nitpicking topic. This is a niche point of discussion. I want to make it very clear again, because I've gotten plenty of comments about it, that I'm fully aware that it is nitpicking, that it is niche, that it is making a big deal out of something relatively small. Lives are not going to end or start because of when Pokemon Home compatibility comes to Nintendo Switch and to our mobile devices. I'm fully aware of that. But as a consumer of Pokemon content, as a person who pays for Pokemon Home, as a fan of Pokemon and generally a fan of how they interact with their community, and how they comport themselves and most of the content, games, media, everything that they put out. I don't know how you've jumbled this so bad, <laughs> right? It's difficult. Let's be very clear here. It's very difficult to jumble something as poorly as the Pokemon company has jumbled the rollout of home over the years. It's a case study on how you don't promote a product and service, how you don't market a service, how you don't communicate about what a service has and what it doesn't have and when it's coming. So I'm happy with the features that we are getting with this home update. It's on the track to being a better service, which at the end of the day is why I make these ranty videos. I want home to be better. I don't want to make these videos. As much as some people might say that members of the community intentionally put out negative content to drive up engagement, to say controversial things, because unfortunately in this world, controversy sells, it is popular. I promise you, I do not want to make these videos. I made a community tab post when this home update was announced, just detailing it, putting out the thing, asking what you guys felt. That was all I was going to do. I, I edited it and was like, okay, I guess we have to make another video. I don't want to. So, Pokemon Company, maybe you saw my video. <laughs> I don't know. We just want communication. We want communication that's relevant and we want the service to keep getting better. So while this is a, a, a step in the right direction and Pokemon Home is going to be a better, more valuable service after this update comes, it wasn't handled well and it continues to be handled poorly. And I would hope that when 
the next games come, when we get the next remakes or the next generation or the next Legends game or the next Let's Go game, whatever is next after Scarlet and Violet's DLC releases at the end of this year, maybe the beginning of next year. Once that happens, hopefully Pokemon Home is further invested in is that whatever team at Ilka is working on it is staffed up and it can be more in line with how you guys portray the rest of your brand, which is generally very reliable. That's all I have to say. What do you guys think about the upcoming Pokemon Home update about the jumbled release time for it? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Pokemon content like it in the future, don't, for be, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and hit that notification bell so you never miss future content. I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.